Marine. Marine. Every government has its secret service branch. America, its CIA, France, Deuxième Bureau, England, MI5. NATO also has its own. A messy job? Well, that's when they usually call on me, or someone like me. Oh, yes, my name is Drake, John Drake. In Malvania, the name of Josper is as common as Smith back home. But when a Mr. Josper lay close to death in a hospital in the little country town of Marine, I got to it from Washington in under 24 hours. Well, good morning. I'm Dr. John Drake. I believe that I'm expected here today. Thank goodness you arrived, Dr. Drake. I am the hospital director. Oh, how do you do? No, you wouldn't believe it. Dr. Stanislaw himself has arrived from the capital and just taken over. I understand that a patient has contracted an unidentified disease. So I gather. But no one tells me anything definite. No one is allowed to enter or leave the private wing. Has the disease been diagnosed yet? They don't seem to know what it is. I fear it may be typhus. That could account for the unusual precautions. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Come this way. Thank you. Just a minute. If you please. I am taking Dr. John Drake, a specialist in infectious diseases. We know all about Dr. Drake. He can pass no one else. This is outrageous. In my own hospital. Don't forget, don't let anyone pass without my permission. This way, Dr. Drake. Oh, thank you very much. I am Major Minos in charge of security. I am glad you could come, Mr. Drake. He's in here. So, that is Mr. Josper. I seem to recognize him under another name. Yes, President Ronald. He has the assassin's bullet still in his brain. Can they save him? They must. You see the man by the bed over there? That is Dr. Keller, the famous brain surgeon. He arrived from California this morning. And the other? Our own man. A brain surgeon from the capital. And now my security arrangements. I have put an army of guards around the central hospital in the capital, a hundred miles away. Outside, there are a crowd of thousands weeping and praying. There is a bandaged figure lying there in a private ward. Already there have been two attempts on his life, while our president lies here undisturbed. Oh, you've done very well, Major Minas. I can't imagine why they sent from me. But naturally, NATO is very concerned. If President Varnell dies, the democracies would lose a great friend. We are grateful for any help you can give us, Mr. Drake. Our president must live, but he has very determined enemies. We must keep his presence here a complete secret. It is essential that we attract no attention to this hospital whatsoever. Dr. Keller, Dr. Stanisford, this is Mr. Drake of NATO. How are you doing? How are you? Ah, yes, security NATO. We're glad you could come, Mr. Drake. Uh, the life of your president is very important to us all, Dr. Stanisford. What are his chances? Well, there's a hemorrhage. He's lost a lot of blood. and We won't be able to operate yet, not until he's regained some strength. Tonight, perhaps. Well, Major, with you to guard his security and Dr. Keller his life, he's got every chance of pulling through. Nothing more I can do at the moment. I'll go and check into my hotel. If you are not comfortable, let me know. I told him to give you their best room. Nice of you. See you later on. Well, may I have my hat and coat, please? Yes, Thank you very much. Oh, Dr. Drake, a special oh. messenger has just arrived from your embassy. Oh, oh thank you. Well, I'm John Drake. You uh, have a message for me? Yes, sir. Sure. All right. Yeah, thanks very much. Top priority, John Drake. Investigate report from Zanada. American girl found wandering, suffering from loss of memory. When questioned, will only repeat Marine Hospital Sunday. This suggests most serious breach of security. How did she get this information? Who is she? Has she associates? 
Is she connected with another attempt on the president's life? Please investigate immediately. Oh, pardon me. How far is it to Zanarda? Some 30 miles. Uh, where can I hire a car here? What? Drive to Zanarda. Oh, no, Dr. Drake, not across those roads. You must take a train to Klosditch and then find whatever transport you can. Klosditch, all right. Oh, will you tell Major Minas I'll be back later on today? Of course. Thank you very much. eight o'clock this morning. Oh, that's very kind of you. We are very grateful. And what is more, I'm not going to have her any longer. You must take her away. Oh, yes, of course. You're a, a good Samaritan. Any idea where she came from? My husband brought her in a truck. He says he doesn't know who she is. Oh, may I see her? She's in bed. My bed. Here. You are from the American Embassy? Yes, that's right. Good. I said to Kupnik, our local policeman, it is well for our own people to look after her. How is she? She's suffering from shock from great mental strain. I've given her a sedative. Any idea who she is yet? No, she's suffering from amnesia. She remembers nothing. Poor child. Poor child. <laughs> she pretends. Now a little charity. It is genuine shock. She also has superficial injuries and bruises. Has she been talking at all? And she keeps saying over and over again, even in her sleep, Mirin Hospital Sunday. Well, that's today. It makes no sense. No. And you've no idea at all where she came from? None. The farmer found her. Uh, so he says. May I see him? He's out. I told him not to come back to the house while she was here. Uh, did he say where he'd found her? He said five miles away, on the plains, in pajamas. Now, let the poor child sleep. Oh, yes, of course. I wonder if you'd be kind enough to take me to the place where your husband found her. <laughs> Only my husband knows that. But I'll take you to where he said he found her. Thank you. I'm obliged. According to his story, it must have been somewhere here. It's really the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Oh, take my word for it. You're wasting your time. You don't know my husband. Well, does she look the sort of girl you'd find in the middle of a plane? I never found a girl in the middle of a plane. There was a girl in the theater in Lutz last year. They say she danced in pajamas. She wasn't American. That's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. If we are to believe everything we are told, no, just she just... Where does that line go? Marine. And the transcontinental train goes through that way? Yes. Well, she uh, must have fallen off the train. But my husband never travels by train. No. Would you mind turning around and going back, please? She's awake. She's very frightened. Do not ask too many questions. Do you mind if I talk to you for a little? My name is uh, John Drake. I come from the same part of the world as you do. Cigarette? I've uh, just arrived from Washington. I've uh, I've just arrived from Washington. They they tell me that you can't remember very much. Well, that it sometimes happens. Funny thing, if you came from Washington too. Oh, that would be too much of a coincidence. You are an American, aren't you? Marine Hospital. What's that? Marine Hospital. Marine Hospital. Oh, yes. Yes, we know all about that. Marine Hospital. Sunday. Now, look. I want to help you. That's why I'm here. 
I think I know what happened to you. You were on a train, weren't you? Poor child. She remembers nothing. Now try to remember. Something happened to you on that train. You were on a train, Mr. weren't you? Mr. Drake, please. Yes, I was on a train. I went to sleep. That's right. Now you're remembering. You went to sleep. Something happened to you. What was it? On the train to Mary. On the train to Mary. On the train to Mary. No. 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 She must have proper pension. And the sooner the better. She's not welcome here. Yes, I'm sorry. You're quite right. They, uh, they sent some things from the, uh, embassy. Are all these for her? That's right. I, I wonder, would you get her dressed as quickly as possible, please? I'm going to take her to the hospital at Marine. Thank you. Where are you taking me? I'm taking you to Marine. Oh, don't worry, it's not fire. Marine? You cold? Here. This one. There you are. Is that better? Well, it's Sunday today. What's happening at Marine Hospital on Sunday? Marine. What does it mean to you? I can't Marine remember. Marine Hospital, Sunday. Why is it so important? I don't know. Who told you about it? I, what I were you going to do there? Oh, please. I remember. I remember. What do you remember? Good evening, Dr. Drake. Oh, director, this young lady has been in an accident. I wonder if you could take care of her for me. Of course. Uh, sister, uh, take this young lady to reception, please. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Drake, tell me, uh, have you managed to diagnose our mystery case? Well, I've never come across anything quite like it before. I must admit, it's got me beat. Typhus. I knew there was more to it than that. They have commandeered my operating theater now. They've been moving uh, equipment I, I, all the uh, afternoon. I think that we ought to be careful what we say, director. Don't you? The bullet went through the bone here. It was deflected slightly to the right and lies here near the optic nerve. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to have damaged any vital tissue. This section of bone will have to be removed. An incision made here. A piece of this bone also removed. Explore the track through the brain and remove the bullet. A fractional error could cause a dangerous hemorrhage. Dr. Keller has been very successful with this operation in the States. I've studied his papers, even tried his technique myself with some success. What are the President's chances? This type of surgery is still relatively new, involving difficult anesthesia. I can't promise miracles. All right, Doctor. I'm ready. Would you have the patient taken to the theater? Uh, Dr. Keller, a moment, please. Major, this is a security matter. Uh, Major Minas here has conceived a most brilliant security plan. The president lies here in an unguarded hospital. Now, this is only possible because everyone believes he's still in the capital. But this secret be closely kept is the whole essence of the plan, correct? Of course, Mr. Drake. Well, it's a secret no more. What? Dr. Keller, you came through from Trieste on the night train, didn't you? That's right. There was a girl traveling on that train, an American. She knows what's happening here today. 
Where is this girl? If she has our secret, other people may have it too. We must know how she found out. Doctor, do you remember seeing this girl on the train? She was young, blonde, pretty, about five feet seven. Greg, do you imagine I go about giving secret information to blondes on trains? Uh, Dr. Keller, the president is in danger. Was there anyone traveling with you? Captain Franz. Franz, was he? He went through to Trieste to meet Mr. Keller at the airport. He's all right. He's one of my men. He'll never talk. Where's the girl? She's out in reception now. How much does she know? Well, uh, enough. She knows that something very important is happening here today. Anything else? Hard to say. She's suffering from amnesia. Lost her memory. How was that? She fell off the train. Or uh, she was pushed. The patient is being taken to the theater now, Dr. Keller. Thank you, Anna. Who is that? That's my nurse, Miss Wilson. Is she from the States? That's right. In a case like this, it's essential to have someone... on the train? Yes, I brought her with me. I'd like to speak to her, please. I'm afraid you'll have to wait till after the operation. This patient's on his way to the theater. Dr. Keller, I'd like to speak to her right away. There's no point in saving the president's life if his enemies are going to come in here and kill him anyway. We must know how the secret got out. Give me Captain Franz. Franz? Yes, Major. The American girl, the one that fell off the train. She's out in reception now. No. She is suffering from amnesia, but there are some things she has not forgotten. She's a danger to our security. Very well, Major. Leave it to me. Sorry to have kept you waiting. You're coming with me. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Leave her to me. Thank you. Well, sit down. She needs medical attention. Yes, you're quite right. Good child. I will get the house doctor to put her to bed and see that she takes a sedative. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Drake. France will take care of her. I'm, I'm sorry. She's an American citizen. She's in my charge. But, Mr. Drake, we only want to help. Captain France, do you remember seeing this girl on the train? Yes, I seem to remember her. Did you see this man? He was on the train. No. Major Minas, mm -hmm. they're in the operating theater. We're coming, Doctor. France? What happened? Why did you scream? That man. He was the man in my dream, the man on the train. Do you remember anyone else on the train? An American surgeon named Keller. Keller? Dr. Keller? Do you know him? I... I can't remember. Anna. How about a nurse named Anna? Do you know her? Anna? But Anna's my name. Yes, I am Anna Wilson. You're a nurse? Yes. Yes, I'm going to Marine Hospital. I must help Dr. Keller. Hello. I want a long distance call, please. Fairlight Institute, California. Ask for the director. I'm sorry, sir. We're not allowed to put calls out of the hospital without permission from the security officer. I am security, John Drake. NATO security. Would you put that call through right away, please? I'll be in the operating theater. Stay right here. Back in the moment. How's he responding? Weak, but regular. Blood pressure? Down by 10 millimeters. Who is that? 
What are you doing in here? I must stop this operation. Mr. Drake, the patient is anesthetized. I'm sorry, Dr. Stanisfer. I must keep that man away from the president. But this is Dr. Keller. Did you ever see a picture of Dr. Keller? Mr. Drake, please get out of here. This delay is endangering my patient's life. You're not Keller, are you? You took his place, didn't you? This man's a lunatic. You murdered Keller with the help of France and threw him off the train. You also tried to murder Anna Wilson. But this is... no one tried to hurt me. That's right, because you're not Anna Wilson, are you? Get him out of here. That man is a killer. The patient's life is in... Mr. Drake, you've made a mistake. No. You do not want to be responsible for the president's death. That's right. That's why I'm not going to let him be killed. But this is Dr. Keller. I know his work, his methods, his technique. No, it is not. This is Dr. Keller. Here's the answer now. Oh, long distance. Drake here. I'm sorry, sir. Security won't let us book your call. Oh, yes, that's right. Drake. Sorry. I have a call booked, a long-distance call to the Fairlight Institute, California. That's right, thank you. Yes, the director. Yeah, hello? Is that the director of the Fairlight Institute? M my name is John Drake. No, you, you don't know me, but I'm security NATO. That's right. Now, uh, about your Dr. Keller... No, no, uh, K for Kenneth, E for Edward, Keller. That's right. I, I wonder if you could help me. I'm speaking to you from Marine Hospital. There's a gentleman here who says that he is your Dr. Keller. I would like you to speak to him. Would you please identify him? It is very important. Thank you. Dr. Keller, your director. Mr. Drake, you've wasted enough of our time. Okay. The gentleman who says that he's your Dr. Keller doesn't seem very anxious to speak to you. I can't imagine why. I wonder if you could describe your Dr. Keller to me, please. His height, weight, color of his eyes, hair, etc. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. No, that will be all. I'm obliged. You are not Dr. Keller. Stanisfer, I heard you say once that you were familiar with Dr. Keller's techniques. And now is your chance to prove them. But he is the president. I'm sorry, there's no one else to do it. He's in your hands now. The instrument, sister. very great debt to you, Mr. Drake. Well, not to me, President Varnell, but to Dr. Stanisford. To you both, for different reasons. I am grateful. Now, President, that is quite enough talking. You see, Mr. Drake, I may be the leader of my country, but here, I must do as the doctor tells me. We better go. Come on. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye.